Hey, it's Julie. I wanted to show you guys how I chop a couple things. First, I'm going to show you how I do a uh, pineapple, and then I'm going to show you how I do a mango. So, here we go. This is how I do a pineapple. So, I've got my little station set up. I've got my bowl, nice cutting board, my pineapple, and my mango. So, something to know about pineapples is the way they look doesn't actually show you how ripe they are. I found this out living in Hawaii, so you're not actually looking for an actual color. What I like to do in testing my pineapples, I like to smell it. And as long as it smells kind of sweet, I figure it's pretty good. I also kind of like to do the uh, pull a stem out. And if it comes out fairly easily, and they don't all, but if you can get one to pull out fairly easily from the top, I like to think it's ripe. But it's not foolproof, so. <laughs> it's always kind of a tricky situation, but here's what I do. So I actually take my hands like this and hold onto it real tight, and then I twist the top off. It comes off fairly easily, and you can actually kind of grow this. You can stick it in water and grow it. Um, I've never really tried, but apparently you can grow it, stick it in a cup of water, it'll produce roots, and then you can plant it. Okay, so what I do is just top off the top and chop off the bottom, and then I go ahead and just using my butcher knife, I cut down the sides to remove all the skin off of the pineapple. I try not to go too deep and so sometimes I leave behind little eye looking things and then I just go back and kind of shave those off afterwards. So go ahead and get everything ready and raring and gorgeous and juicy and nice. I'm going to go ahead and chop it in half and into quarters. And then I take this core and I just cut it out. It's edible, so you could eat it if you wanted, but um, it's not really the best in your fruit salad. So then I go ahead and chop it into chunks, and this was a very delicious pineapple, so my technique worked for picking a pineapple. And it usually does. So I just cut it into little cute chunks and go from there and make a very delicious pineapple chunk salad. More core cutting, more chopping. There you go. So next is the mango. They have kind of an odd shaped pit. So what I do is I just slice down. I try to find where the pit is and then I slice. It's a very thin but kind of oval shaped pit. And then I just slice off the little short ends. So that basically is all pit that was left. And then I just go ahead and do the short sides first and I skin it and then just cut it up into chunks. And mango is amazing. If you've not tried it before, I definitely suggest you do. It's delicious and makes me think of paradise and all things wonderful and amazing in the world. So I just do my short pits, and then for the long one, it kind of, I think it's called scoring. I, I'm not sure. I just cut it into about what chunk size I would do, and then I pop it open, and then just cut the chunks right off the skin. So I just pop the skin right inside out before I cut the chunks off, and it's so quick and easy. This is the best way I've ever found to do mango. And then I just cut what's left of the fruit off of the pit. So here we go. Here's my mango, and there they are. And here is the yummy fruit salad I made with my mango, uh, my pineapple, grapes, blueberries, and a cantaloupe. It's going to be delicious. I'm surprised to find the dead are walking around. Hell must be full. They're back in action, long before brains, they seek some satisfaction. We must not feel what we do not get, like acid rain or laser jet. So I was checking out at the grocery store the other day and came across these um, where they have all the candy bars. Oops, here's the most shadow. So the first one is Skinny Cow Dreamy Clusters, 120 calories. And then the second is the Heavenly Crisp for 110 calories. So me and my husband are going to try them out and let you guys know what we think. Okay, so here's my husband trying a dreamy cluster. <laughs> oh, it's slow motion. What do you mm. think? Is it good? Is it worth it? Um, I don't taste like one of those Nestle Crisp things. There were five in the package. There. Oh, you know what? It tastes like... Um, I want to say Mr. Goodbar. Mr. Goodbar. So there's, uh, f there were five in my package. They're not way small. I mean, they're 
biggish, but here I am. I'd say it tastes like a hundred grand. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. hundred grand. It was one of those. It's pretty darn good. I'd say it's worth the calories. Okay, then this is the crisp bar. Go ahead and have a bite, Clem. But cut it in half. Or snapped it in half. Now this I would eat because it's like a wafer cookie with chocolate layers in between. Alright, here I go. Mmm. I like wafer cookies. That was really good. I approve of this and for only 110 calories. If you're having a sweet tooth, this is a winner. If you wonder what this obnoxious song is, it's some game my husband's playing on his phone. Remember what it's called? I think Guns and Glory or something. Guns and Glory. So yeah, we approve of the Skinny Cows. Um, I think probably we both prefer the crispy bar over the clusters, but they were both good. So if you're in the supermarket and you see them, we suggest them if you're having a sweet tea. So I'm here with a grocery haul. I went to Costco and also just the regular grocery store. I want to show you guys what I got. So I got my favorite bread. It's I don't know if it, you can get it elsewhere except for Utah, but it's 100% whole wheat bread. It's pretty good. It's um, 80 calories and it has six fibers and only two grams of sugar. So I really like this bread. It's made here in Utah. Hang on. I bought uh, five potatoes for a recipe, some hamburger meat, 85% lean, some celery, I don't know if you can see in here, it's onions. I decided to try the bagel thins. I got the whole wheat variety, so I'm going to give those a try. Uh, butternut squash, one lime, green grapes and purple grapes, my new favorite yogurt, Faya Total 0%, got some oranges, bananas, I got some ham for a recipe I'm going to be making. I got some corn on the cob, pre-pilled or shucked. What's that? What do you call it? Shucked. This is where my husband tries lunches. Deep fish single pizza. That's soup. I don't know if I showed that yet. Um, some Pillsbury pizza dough for pizza crust. I really like this stuff. It's very versatile. You can make little sandwich pockets and fun things out of that. So I really like that. Not sure what I'm going to make with it, but I bought it anyway. Blueberries. And then I got pre-shredded Mexican-style cheese. I use that here and there. I got some salmon. And I'm going to make a salmon miso kind of a recipe. Thank you. I, Thank you. It is soup. It's called white miso soup. I was supposed to find white miso, but they didn't have it. So the closest thing I could find was white miso soup. So I'm going to hope that'll work. I bought my favorite tortillas, which I've talked about before. The... La Tortilla Factory, smart and delicious, high fiber, low carb tortillas. And then I got some 1% milk. So that's it. So that's my haul. Yummy, yummy. What do you think, sis? Yummy, yummy? Yummy, yummy. Yummy.